Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. We are given here three equations in two unknowns, but we are not after the specific value for x or for y, but you want to find the value of x to the fifth plus y to the fifth. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. Okay, let's solve this problem together. Let's begin by recalling that the square of a binomial is expanded as the square of the first term plus twice the product of the first and the second terms plus the square of the second term. Since we have here x squared plus y squared, let's represent this as x squared plus y squared. So let's subtract 2xy from both sides and we arrive at this. This is our representation for x squared plus y squared, which is equal to two. We are going to go back to this later on. Now let's represent the square of the binomial x squared plus y squared in order to get the x to the fourth plus y to the fourth term. And following the square of a binomial formula, we arrive at this expression at the left. And solving for x to the fourth plus y to the fourth, we have this expression, which we arrive at by copying the right side minus this middle term. There is no problem when the exponents are even. Now, since we want x to the fifth plus y to the fifth, let's look for an identity so that we can represent x to the fifth plus y to the fifth. But let's begin first with x to the third plus y to the third. Let's recall that if we multiply the quantity x plus y times the quantity x squared plus y squared, the result is this expression at the right. And the explanation for that is, if we distribute x to this binomial and distribute y to the binomial, the result would be x cubed plus x squared y plus x y squared plus y cubed, which is the expression at the right side. By symmetric property, we can interchange the left and the right side, and expressing this as x cubed plus y cubed, we subtract x y squared and x squared y from the left and from the right side of the equation to arrive at this equation. This is our expression for x to the third plus y to the third. Then let's express x to the fifth plus y to the fifth using the same process. If we multiply the quantity x squared plus y squared times the quantity x cubed plus y cubed, this is the result. And by symmetric property, we can interchange the left and the right side. And expressing this as x to the fifth plus y to the fifth, we now arrive at this expression. So we now have these different expressions for x squared plus y squared, x cubed plus y cubed, x to the fourth plus y to the fourth, and x to the fifth plus y to the fifth. Let's erase this part now. And let us just retain the equations that we need. We have this x to the fourth plus y to the fourth, x to the second plus y to the second. We want to find what is the exact value of x to the fifth plus y to the fifth. But let's begin with what we already know. So using now this formula for x squared plus y squared, so x squared plus y squared is equal to 2, x plus y equals 1, copy the exponent and copy minus 2xy, and solving for xy, we arrive at xy equals a negative 1 half. Let's remember that result. Next, let's go to x cubed plus y cubed. In here, we can still simplify this because there is a common factor of xy. And so we arrive at this simplified form and replacing the values for x plus y, which is 1, x squared plus y squared, which is 2, xy is equal to negative 1 half, and y plus x or x plus y is 1. And this is equal to 5 halves. Let's remember this value. Next, let's go to x to the fourth plus y to the fourth. Substituting 2 for x squared plus y squared, copy the exponent, copy minus 2, then x squared y squared is just the same as the quantity xy all raised to the second, and we know that xy is equal to negative 1 half, and so this becomes x to the fourth plus y to the fourth equals 7 halves. 
Then we are now ready to find x to the fifth plus y to the fifth. This part here can be simplified because there's a common factor of x squared y squared. And substituting the values that we have so far, we know that x squared plus y squared is equal to 2, x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 5 halves, minus x squared y squared is negative 1 half squared, x plus y is 1, and this gives us a value of 19 over 4. And therefore, the value of x to the fifth plus y to the fifth is 19 over 4. And going back to our problem, that is letter D. So our final answer is 19 over 4, letter D. Thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.